Okay, this is so cool. All the gems. This is awesome, man. How, uh, so, I, de I deliver the Langley Vance, which divides by three, the local paper. God has just been speaking to me like crazy about local, local, local. Um, just going to turn on the light here so we got a bit more light. Um, and, uh, Langley Vance divides by three. I love this. Live on stage. You know, live on stage. Live divides by three. On stage divides by three. Knit together with 33. Um, thoroughly modern Millie. Like, and I'm, so I'm just gem hunting. I'm thoroughly enjoying reading this delightful article about this student play that I'm going to go see. Okay, thoroughly modern Millie. And um, I'm just gem hunting in this article. And it's pure pleasure. You're just like, wow. It's like, the place where this play take, takes place is Priscilla Hotel. And you're doing the math on this. Like, it's pure pleasure. You, you can be sit like Priscilla, 99, perfectly. Perfectly parallels the word Polaris, you know, in, in terms of this mathematical structure with uh, P, A, and S, the only three letters that don't divide by three knitting together in like similar positions. Polaris, the name of the North Star. Priscilla adds to 99 perfectly for number three. Hotel is 60. That's the location of this. New York divides by three. The two main characters, Millie, um, obviously is so king for the number three. I, L, L, I in between M and E, which is 18. Like it's just screaming. So you got an 18 and that gets you know, inserted with two I's, the next letter is in from that 18, so you have 18, 18, 24, that's 60 perfectly in six letters. Um, and then, Bell plays the part of Miss Dorothy Brown. Every word divides by three. Miss divides by three, Dorothy divides by three, Brown divides by three, and of course, Bell divides by three. It's just all perfect for the glory of the Trinity. And um, this, is, this is a delightful play. There's a, um, the student orchestra is going to be playing 27 main songs and all the incidental music, and they are using the same sheet music used by Broadway professionals. I, I'm, I'm blown away by, and Bell has been telling me about how many hours everyone has been putting in for this performance, like after school, like for like six hours every single day. You know, a student orchestra performing 27 songs with real Broadway professional music, it just, it's just going to be a knockout. The whole thing is going to be a total knockout. It's going to be roaringly funny. Um, I'm going to be sitting there in the front row, front row advised by three, just completely like losing myself. I'm like, I'm going to be dying of laughter and joy as I watch this play. Um, and so I'm, I'm just delighted treasure hunting this whole thing, Langley Vance, I mean, that is that is at the top of every single page of this newspaper. Langley Vance has been the community newspaper of Langley since 1931. And that is very important because Langley, British Columbia, Canada divides by three. That's my birthplace. I'm solving all these things mathematically. Langley Vance has been the official local community newspaper of Langley since 1931. That's over. 80 years, that's 84 years as of this year. 84 years that this text, Langley Vance, has been the official text on the top of every single page of the local newspaper. In beautiful red, which is, you know, the favorite color. Three times three times three. And um, God's favorite color. It's at the top of the rainbow. Okay, blood of Jesus. Anyways, um, the Langley Vance, the local paper. And it's just like local, local, local. Everywhere I go, I'm just getting that word local. It's like, you know, live local, befriend local, minister local, shop local, um, <laughs> you know, be entertained local. Like this student play is going to be absolutely a knockout. Did you know the young put in far more effort than all the professionals? Did you know it's far more enjoyable and satisfying to go to a game with rowdy, you know, enthused young people at the local school than some overpriced nonsense fest downtown? Like, this play is going to be an unbelievable knockout. Um, I can't believe this kind of stuff doesn't get more advertising. I can't, you know, like, the number of hours that these, that these young people have put in, Bell has been at the school, like, every day till, like, 7 p.m., like, from after school, I'm like, I am blown away by the investment of these young people. Like, I just love looking at the people in the orchestra. I'm like, this is not my personality, like, but man, people were born to, like, 
play and play and play and practice. Um, I am going there for opening night. Doors open at 6.30, um, February 11th. It's going to be a smash. It's going to be roaringly delightful. And um, I just can't wait to see it. It just and so I'm already gem hunting for the number three. It's like, yeah, oh yeah, it takes place in New York. I already did this already. Millie Dillmount, the main character, first and last name divided by three. You know, the other lead female character, which is Belle, first and last name divided by three, Dorothy Brown. And Belle is best friends with Kate, with Caitlin. So Belle and her best friend Caitlin play the two lead roles, and both of those lead characters, their first and last name both divides by three. Millie Dillmount and Dorothy Brown. Like it is, and it take it all takes place in the Priscilla Hotel. Both of which words are screamingly loaded for the number three. And God has ordained that I go to this play. I, that's why I'm spending time zooming in on this article, which was ordained for me to find in the newspaper that I deliver re regularly. And because I got that word, it says buy a ticket for opening night. So that's why I'm so excited to just dig up all these things and present this all. Um, so it's just going to be mind-blowing.